that loved me. And when she began to preach and, and, and begin to talk about more about the love of God, I was like, who's God? God loves me. <clears throat> and I'm saying, I grew up in church, a Methodist church, but I didn't really hear about God and, and, and Him loving me. It, it was just so many other different things that, you know, I was taught. I was taught about, you know, the, the Bible stories and things like that. It didn't really mean anything to me. But at that point in my life, I knew I was searching for something. And that something was the love of God. And when she began to preach, she was like, she began to quote John 3.16. And I know many of us out here, we are very familiar with John 3.16. And which it states, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But this is what caught my eye. It's verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, meaning us, meaning you, but that the world through him might be saved. And I'm like, God, you love me? And you sent your son, you, you're, not, you're not here to condemn me for even what I did, even at the age of 14. But it was the love of God that brought me to the answer that I was in search of. So she began to preach. And she was like, if you want to know the love of God and you want to experience God in your life and you want to have meaning to your life, all you have to do is just call upon him and seek him and he'll come right, right where you are and give you every answer and everything that you need. And I did exactly that. I ran home and I went to my bedroom and I fell on my knees. I said, God, I want to know the, the, the God that this woman has been preaching about. And at that moment, I'm telling you, every burden, every concern that I had regarding my family and even not even knowing what I wanted to do with my life, all of that dissipated. And the God's love began to envelop in my heart. At 14 and up until the age that I am now, I know what the love of God is like. And I don't know where you are right now, but I'm telling you, it's the love of God that can bring you from out of your mess to where you need to be. All you got to do is call upon Him. And you have made it. You probably have heard this year after year, week after week. But I'm telling you, I'm speaking to every person in this, in this area because I Each and every one of you, where 